Hello and welcome. I'm Otis Landerholm. I'm the founding attorney here at Landerholm Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. And today I want to talk about what do you do if you've lost your case and really you think that the reason that you lost is that your attorney did not help you uh, and you were given bad advice and bad representation. Sometimes that happens and it's unfortunate when that does happen. Um, and there is a way to reopen cases uh, based on what we call the ineffective assistance of counsel, all right? And uh, so basically based on if your previous attorney really, really messed up. What we have to show to reopen a case like that, what we have to show is basically two things. First, we've got to show that your attorney was in fact ineffective, like they didn't do a good job. All right, they messed up in some way, and there's lots of different ways that attorneys might mess up uh, an immigration case. All right, so that's the first thing we have to show. We've got to show that your attorney messed up in one of various ways. The second thing we got to show is that that mistake, that mess up, caused prejudice, quote unquote, to your case, which means that if it weren't for that, you, the outcome could have really been differently. It could have really been different, all right? Um, so it really caused some kind of damage to your case. It prejudiced your case. If we can show both of those things, uh, then we can uh, reopen your case and get it back on file uh, with the Immigration Court or with the Board of Immigration Appeals, all right? Now to do a motion to reopen based on the ineffective assistance of counsel, uh, it's no small undertaking. You have to document very clearly what the agreement was with your previous attorney, how that attorney messed up, and how that mistake or that uh, ineffective assistance caused prejudice to your case. And we've got to document it very carefully. Our first step is to actually give the attorney an opportunity to respond to the allegations that we have against him or her. All right, then the law requires that if we're gonna reopen based on this, we actually have to file a disciplinary action or a bar grievance against that prior attorney. And then after we do all of those things, then we can file the motion to reopen. So it is a process and these are not fun cases uh, to file typically, uh, but sometimes when it's the best argument and when it really has happened, then hey, we've gotta use that to reopen your immigration process and to give you another shot in immigration court. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about motions to reopen, please contact our office. Uh, we'd love to walk you through that process. Uh, and if you found this information useful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Otis Landerholm, Landerholm Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. Thank you.